Hello, it's Laura Alexander for KVM Online, and today I've got a man with me that's not scared of taking risks. In fact, he fuses together dance, rock, and pop to make it listenable for the whole family, to make those epic sounding tunes. He's also been complimented by the likes of Adele and Iron Maiden, to name but a few, and he's causing quite a stir with his guitar playing as well. It's one of the nicest guys in pop right now. It's Alexander from Utopia. Thank you, Laura, for that introduction. Hi, hi. Right. Now listen, let's talk about first of all uh, your name. Where did Utopia come from? Uh, well, the well, when I first came up with the name Utopia, I actually thought of the name Utopia that we're all used to with the U in front. Yeah. And then it, my mum, it was actually my mother who pointed out, she said, well, you know that Utopia means an impossible place. Yeah. And I said, oh right, well that doesn't sound very positive. Because I, I, I quite, you know, not to sound like sort of cheesy and stuff, but I, I quite like being positive about yeah. things in life. That's good. And then uh, my mum said to me, you know, if you put an E at the beginning, uh, it becomes utopia. It's still spelled yeah. the same way, but utopia with an E at the beginning means a blessed place or a perfect place. And it's actually a Greek word. Oh, cool. Uh, so and you get, are Greek? I'm half Greek, yeah. There you go. Yeah. It all makes sense. It oh, does. that's really cool. I like it. Well, listen, I also wanted to find out about, about you, how you started getting into music. Well, curiously enough, I actually started uh, on the piano. Before I was playing guitar, I actually yeah. was a, a piano player. And I was uh, five years old when I f first started playing. Um, and uh, I had a little bit of a mouth on me uh, back then, <laughs> and, and my well, my piano teacher tried to get me to you know do my practice and things. And weirdly enough, I was really you know pretty cocksure about the whole thing. And I was like, oh well, you know I've done this before. You know I've already I've beaten it. That's what, what my words yeah, yeah. to my mother. I said I don't want to play piano. I've beaten it. Uh, so anyway, I kept on playing piano. You know, just going on and on and on with the thing. I got quite good at it. Um, my piano teacher had high hopes I was going to be probably some sort of piano virtuoso. Yeah. Um, I had other plans because when I was younger, I wanted to actually be an F1 driver. That's what I wanted to do. <laughs> As you do, it's quite different. Yeah. Um, and then, unfortunately, I, at 11 years old, uh, I had a bit of an accident, mm. uh, and it was a uh, a charity do yeah. at a, a school, yeah. of all things. And unfortunately, I got involved uh, in um, a, a bit of a firefight, should we yeah. say. And I, unfortunately, I suffered quite severe burns. Mm. And what was really weird is um, when they put the fire out on me, they were like saying to me, you know, are you okay? Your name is? And they were asking me all these questions about my where I live and yeah. all this stuff. And I'm like, what are, why are they doing these things? But later I found out why they were doing it, you know, just to keep my brain yeah. running. And then when they did the tests, uh, the doctors were doing tests in the hospital, they were like saying to me, you know, he seems to be fine. Nothing is wrong with him. It's, yeah. it's amazing. Usually there's some, something that will suffer, you know, and uh, what weirdly, one afternoon a young girl came in yeah. uh, to the Burns unit and one of the nurses said, you know, I've heard there's a very good piano player in here and could you play to this girl? And there's me going, to, I'm brilliant at piano, so I'm yeah. just going to walk in and yeah, start yeah. playing. Anyway, I put my hands on the keys, couldn't remember a note. Oh, wow. My brain had completely got wiped. It affected you that much? Completely. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Um, and then, so I didn't do any music for a, a number of years. And then um, some friends of my, of uh, myself and my brothers came around uh, from America and they asked to put some music on. Yeah. So my brother, you know, showed them his music collection. Yeah. And uh, they, they picked out one band, and I was like, who's this band yeah. called Def Leppard? And I was yeah. like, Def Leppard, who are they? And I was like, even you know, making a joke, mm. Def Leppard, what a terrible name. <laughs> so anyway, this song comes on, and it was a song called Rocket. Yeah. Now, the chorus, when it goes, Rocket, yes, I'm not alone, or like that. Anyway, I'm, I'm not, it, believe me, it goes way higher than that. Um, that song, it just grabbed me that day. Mm. And, you know, if you're into books like The Secret and things like that, I know a lot of people think it's like some yeah. crazy stuff, but if you're into that sort of stuff... Law of Attraction. That's right. So you know, what happened? Is that when you took up guitar? That was it. That was the moment. Wow. I, I just knew I had to do music after Amazing. that. Amazing. So then I picked up the guitar. 
Well, listen, I, I know, uh, obviously, we've heard your sort of creative background as well, and I know yeah. you also like to get creatively involved yeah. with all of your music. I mean, even on iTunes, if you buy your single, you check out the artwork for that, you yeah, do all of that stuff. Do, yeah. uh, you do all of the uh, production as well and the sure. mastering. Sure. How easy is it to be completely creatively in control? <laughs> Not easy, really. It's, mm. it's uh, it, You have to almost be... In today's music industry, you have to be pretty much a businessman mm. as well as a musician. It's very difficult to juggle the two. Yeah. It's always a little bit on the tough side. And also, yeah. I know that in terms of mastering, you've actually started working with other artists and helping them out mastering their tracks. Yeah. Is that a pretty new thing for yourself? It is. Um, no. I had a, one year off, actually. Last year, I had a, a little bit of a, a break from yeah. music uh, for reason or another. Yeah. Uh, so I just decided, you know, I'm going to take this year you know, and focus on writing new songs and at the same time learn finally how to master <laughs> because not many people do it properly. Yeah. Um, and so I, I decided to learn how to do mastering. And, and did you teach yourself? I taught myself, yeah. There seems to be a pattern yeah. here. It's interesting. I like yeah. it. Well, listen, your yeah. latest song, uh, yeah. Time Reflected, mm -hmm. uh, has had some great feedback. How did you actually manage to get into writing that? How do you write songs? What's your process? We'd all love to know that. What is the process to write <laughs> a song? A secret. We'd, we'd all love to. There's no secret about it. As I tell, I'm also a guitar teacher and a piano teacher as well, uh, and I teach the drums as well. But um, the thing is, there is no secret to it. What I always say to my students when they say, "How do you write a song? How do you write a riff and stuff?" I say, "Well, practice your scales. Number one, so you'll learn your yeah. alphabet, and number two, go and live your life. So go mm -hmm. out, meet people, talk, socialize, get um, experiences. Yeah, get your heart broken. You know." get in a couple of arguments, <laughs> fall in love, and, and that's how you write songs. It's as easy as that, really. Well, as easy or as hard if you get a yeah. creative blog. Yeah, um, yeah well, it's, it's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Now, you with you this year as well, because you said you took a, a little bit of a break, yeah. but it seems to be taking yes. off already. You've done some radio interviews, you've played mm. some massive gigs as well. You shared the stage with some X Factor guys, with like Nicky McDonald, runner-up of X Factor, also Callahan, Emily Middlemass. Um, so, what, what's going to be going on this year? What, what's the rest of your plans? Well, continue trying to finish my EP. That's mm. that's step number one. That's absolute prime importance for me right now. Um, and then uh, hopefully just starting to do gigs again. Mm. Um, and I mean more on a regular basis. Uh, probably about mid-November around then. Okay, that's yeah. cool. And in terms of um, making music, you know, sound really different, I think yours does sound really different, but how easy is that? Because there's a lot of music that comes out that's sampling lots of other tracks, and it seems to mm. be sometimes you get in the chart that it's all quite samey, in my opinion. You are right. Uh, in fairness to the music industry today, mm. about five years ago, I found music really dull. I'd yeah. actually just given up on it. I, yeah. I, I, not for myself, I mean listening to it on the radio mm -hmm. and things. I just found it utterly dull. It was almost like music by numbers. Yeah. Um, but, you know, nowadays, um, you've got some really great music out there. Um, uh, that guy called The Weeknd or something. Yeah. It, really great. I love yeah. his, his uh, timbre. In other yeah. words, the colour of his vocals, similar to Michael Jackson. And then you've got, um, oh god, what's his name? The one uh, Calm Before the Storm or something, and he did uh, River, Tear River, what I can't remember. I don't know. Um, uh, but he's great as well. He, he's, his voice is, is quite terrific, actually. Um, yeah. Uh, but, but making now, that different sound is quite yeah, tough. Yeah, it is. Uh, mm. What I would suggest is listen to different genres of music. Yeah. Try and don't stick to one. If you stick to one sort of music genre, you will sound like yeah. your favourite band. When I was first starting guitar and, and writing songs, I pretty much learned every single note that yeah. two bands ever played. Yeah. Bon Jovi and Def Leppard. Wow. Everything. Every note that Richie or Phil or Steve would play, I would mimic yeah. everything. The vibratos and everything. But then you're the same as everyone else, right? But then you'd be the same as everybody yeah. else. Yeah. So do something a bit different. Mix it all up. I like that. Well, listen, um, big, big question now. Yeah. But what do you reckon about making it in the industry now? Is it easy to do? It's all to do with motivation. You've mm. got to be motivated. Uh, there are opportunities. I know a lot of musicians will go, it's impossible. You just yeah. can't do it unless you know, you've got like quarter of a million in the bank or something like that. It, that's not entirely true. It is true to a certain extent, but <laughs> it's not entirely true. If you yeah. keep yourself motivated, get yourself out there, produce music, keep your motivation up, keep positive people around you. This mm. is so important, guys. Keep positive people around you. The last thing you want is like drainers. Yeah. That's the, that's the worst. 
And that's good advice, I think, through everywhere through life as well, whatever Absolutely. industry you're into. Mm. And also, uh, speaking of which, what would you say to any young up-and-coming artists that are coming through the ranks right now? What kind of advice or hints and tips would you give to them? Okay, do not cover other people's songs exactly the same as the song is. <laughs> Try and be um, a, a good example, guys. Um, I, I, one of the, the, the newest bands that I've heard, and yeah. I was just like blown away by them, I, I, uh, Royal Blood, um, they did a cover um, of The Police's Roxanne. Mm. Check it out, that's how you do a cover. They did it in their own style, yeah. and they made it their own. Mm. Um, and I'm all for that. If you guys are gonna do covers, to make it in your own style because yeah. we've heard enough of, I'm gonna sing a song of Mariah Carey and it's exactly the same with a backing track. <laughs> And then you've got like 20 girls doing the same thing or loads of guys doing the Ed Sheeran yeah. thing. It's done to death, guys. If yeah. you're going to do the Ed Sheeran thing, who's brilliant. Ed Sheeran's a fantastic singer-songwriter. If you're going to do his thing, respect the guy. Make it different. Make it original. Yeah. He'll have more respect for you, trust me. Yeah, definitely. And um, in terms of, as well, you know, people want to find out more about you, what's all your social media and everything? Uh, well, you can find me at uh, facebook.com forward slash utopia music. That's e-utopia music. <laughs> and uh, I'm on Twitter as well, e-utopia music. Um, YouTube as well. And... Uh, Everywhere. Instagram as well. So you see all these photos of me. Random things Random that you've things. been up to that you haven't had any sleep last night and stuff like that. That's true, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. Yeah. Well, that's for another interview. But listen, Absolutely. thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Now. And uh, yeah, KVM, I hope you enjoyed that interview. And I'm sure if you look, of course, Alexander up on Utopia Music, you find out loads about him. Thank you. Thank you. Right outside.